That boy wrapped it up like a present. You said it is a present? It is a present. <laughs> Yo, shout out to 2021. New adventures, new spots, new footage, new kayak. Yeah, we're about to drop this thing in the water for the very first time so if you're new definitely like comment and subscribe hopefully we don't sink hopefully. but there's only one way to find out you have to stay tuned <laughs> hey if we sink bro what's going on y'all it's your boy pond stars back at you with another video today i'm with who am i with bro fisherman john the fishing legend john what are we doing today john right now we're about to take the kayak out for the first time Ooh. Um, this little, small little creek right here. Okay. Make sure that it floats and everything. Make sure there's no holes. And make sure everything's good. Alright, so you heard it from the fishing legend himself. We're testing out this beautiful kayak we just purchased. It's a two-seater ocean kayak fishing edition. We're gonna take it out right here, test it out, make sure the thing floats because if the thing sinks, bro, I don't think we're gonna be able to do YouTube anymore. Yeah, we're gonna be in trouble if that thing sinks. So, yo, stay tuned, yo, like, comment, and subscribe if you're new with the post notification bell, and we'll see you on the water. Officially on the water, kinda, kinda, sorta. Let's paddle out a little bit. Oh, snap. All right, I think we're, we're kind of stuck on the, oh, there we go. There we go, you guys. We're officially on the water. And, bro, my butt's getting wet, bro. <laughs> yeah. Probably just little scuffles or something. It's all good, yo. Anyways, we're on the water, yo. And, yo, if we sink, tell my mama I love her. Yo, this is so awesome, man. We're actually on the water, man. Crazy. John, what you got to say? Nice. <laughs> we got some ducks. We got some birds. Uh, we know for sure there's snook tarpon in this area. There's a lot of seawalls, a lot of branches, a lot of natural habitat. So we're gonna try to get tight. So stay tuned. Bro, I just got tight on the first fish. It was a little bass, but he just came right out. He came off though. Trying to turn the GoPro on, but hey, at least we know that there's fish in the area. All right, yo, we are traveling into some uncharted territories right here, man. As you see, man, it's got this spillway area. Um, got Fisherman John right there. I guess he's the captain of the day. Captain, captain John. Um, yo, we're just testing this thing out. Yo, we're going underneath this crazy bridge. Oh, my God, we're traveling underneath this crazy bridge full of mosquitoes. Oh, my God. John, what on earth are we going, bro? Let's get out of here. Oh my God. I'm, I'm still throwing the retarded looking bait buster, you guys. It just got eight, but it's swimming so bad. Yo, do tarpon eat jaguar cichlids? Yeah. Are you for real? Yo, this is like the smallest jaguar we've ever seen. Let me take a look at him real quick. Smallest jaguar that we've ever seen we're gonna throw them in the bait bucket so the test is complete the kayak it floats it works good uh hooked up on a little bass jumped and got away no big we're about to recalculate our strategies catch a bucket full of live bait because right now they're munching like crazy we're gonna bring it to a secret og tarpon and snook spot that we've been fishing for many years and yo we're just gonna go paddle out there and try to hook up on one of these monsters what do you think john you're catching the same exact bait fish that's in the area. So these fish already been feeding on the same exact size and bait fish in the same area. Which makes it absolutely prime, right? Yeah, exactly. Fisherman John's wasting no time catching these baits. Let's take a look at what you got. Small little cichlid. Prime cichlid. So the main goal is to match the hatch. Mm -hmm. And what a lot of people don't understand, match the hatch. I'm trying to decide what to use right now. You said your boy is like in the candy shop? Yo, which lure, which lure should I use? Comment down below, let me know. We got the DOA shrimp. We got the DOA terror eyes. We got some bait busters right here. I, I, I might throw the bait buster, bro. Yeah, you could. 
Deep one. Yeah, we got some spool tech action right here, bro. Uh, we got live target mullet, and there's a lot of mullet in the area, so this actually might be pretty prime. And um, we got some no live bait needed. So decisions, decisions, decisions. I don't know what to use. Purple spool tech. I don't know, man. I think I might just go for the bait buster, but I'm gonna see when we get out in the water. Can't open it. Just got intel that John sees some tarpon. Oh, there's tarpon rolling everywhere, you guys. I'm come up with you. Ah, yo, we just got word that tarpon are rolling everywhere. We got a live bait out there. Oh, one just rolled. God, I see the wake right there. Oh my God, yo, we might be in some prime time action right here, you guys. This is no joke. We are in a habitat full of snook and tarpon. We have the fishing legend. He has live bait. Let's see what happens next. All right, yo, we got the kayak in the water. Make sure it doesn't float away, Fisherman John. We're gonna need that thing, girl. Oh my God, yo. You guys don't even wanna know how hard it was to bring this thing in. Nonetheless, we're in there. Let's get out of here because there's a crazy lady that lives here. And yeah. There's a crazy lady that lives over here. The goal for today's video is to try to catch a dink fish. Doesn't matter what kind of fish it is. It could be a mullet jumping. Could be, I don't know, snook, bass, anything. Right, John? Just one dink fish on the kayak. We just need to break it in. And if we can get that dink fish, your mission will be accomplished. All right, man. We are officially out here. Let's make a lap, John. Let's go straight and make a left. This is beautiful, you guys. We're at the OG spot on the kayak. Yo, there's tarpon rolling everywhere. We know there's big snook. We know what the deal is. Um, these snook, they congregate. They get trapped into this waterway. And they basically make a home for it. So, let's make a sharp left, John. Let's go straight down. You see a bystander fishing down there already. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get tight. Uh, we see tarpon rolling everywhere, you guys. Left and right. John's throwing some live bait. I'm throwing a deal with bait buster. Jeez. All right, yo. So far, one big tarpon bite, but nothing really too crazy. Not really much going on today. All right, first fish, bro. First fish out of the whole, first fish on the kayak, yo. Just had to piss him off. It's a baby snook caught on the DOA terrorized. First fish on the kayak, nice baby snook caught on the DOA terrorized. Uh, he bit right by the structure, you know, just a baby one, but they get a lot bigger. Yeah, so this is a common snook. They need to be anywhere between 28 and 32 inches to keep legally when they're in season. This one is just a little baby, but he killed the DOA terrorize. We're gonna go ahead and send them on its way. There you go. Oh my God, yo, we got another dink. He's somewhere down here. He's flopping, he's going crazy. There's another dink snook. Yo, oh, let me see if I can lip him. Let me see if I can lip him. Hold on, hold on. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, Mr. Snook. He doesn't want to even open his mouth. Bro, there's a snook flying. There's a snook swimming to you. Oh, right there. Another dink snook. I don't know what to say, man. We're just catching dink after dink, but the smaller fish are actually, the smaller fish are actually pretty beautiful kind of appreciate the small ones too sometimes and that's what today's video is all about every fish doesn't have to be a monster even though it's fun to catch them but sometimes when it's fishing you take what you get got a nice baby snook go for a little kayak side release nice you know, look at him what you think john big snook big snook, big snook. <laughs> 
All right, there you go, little buddy. Oh, you're stuck on my thumb. Look at that. All right, there we go. Yo, John finally hooked up. First cast on the Terrorize. I don't know. We just switched up lures as soon as it got dark. When you're done, pass them back here. I don't know. We just switched up lures as soon as it got dark. We just started throwing on the Terrorize. John, show him off to the camp. Oh, John, that's a big stuck. Big stuck. <laughs> Set up big snook. That was probably John's PB snook right there. No cap. Oh, dude. There we go. We on something. We on something. Oh, he's fighting, bro. Oh, he's fighting. Oh, we on something big. Oh, we on a big, oh, big snook. Oh, my God, yo. We just caught a big mine on the, caught a big mine on the terrorize, yo. Holy moly. You gotta be kidding. Look at that beast. Came here for dink snook and big mines. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, me on hook him and send him back on his way. Hey, it seems like as soon as it's getting dark, John. All right, yo. This is what you call a Mayan cichlid, aka a tilapia. These things eat bread. Crazy enough, we do catch them on DOA terrorize from time to time. Here's another look at him right there. Oh, it's feisty. All right, without further ado, I'm just gonna send him on his way. All right, bye-bye, mister. There we go. That's the lure we're currently using to DOA terrorize.